Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're gonna go over the top, uh, was it the tier list for November 2020? Sorry, my brain kind of just turned off. And as you might notice, uh, if you watch the other ones, I changed the color of the red in the, um, or of the skill in the Mystic class, the different ones, because hopefully it's good. But in the other videos, I don't know if it was the background. I think it was. I tested it a little bit. And for some reason, the skill in Mystic class always looked blurry, the text. I think it's because it's the background. Now that I changed it, it shouldn't be blurry, so hopefully it's not. So we're going to talk about all the changes to the tier list. And then uh, we're going to talk about the new characters. So first, Falcon went from absolute trash to S. He goes straight in the S tier. Um, where's Falcon? Excuse me? Did Falcon get deleted? I'm very confused. Okay. Oh, I'm actually retarded. No, he's a skill character. I don't know why my brain thought he was <laughs> fucking mutant. Uh, sorry, my brain is a little tired right now. But he's a skill character. He went from F to S. He's not quite beyond God's here, but he's definitely in the realms of Elsa, Hitmonkey, Stealthy, and Blade, I think. He's really good for ability accuracy reduction. His damage is pretty good. Um, he does kind of rely on being awakened for the extra damage, but if he's not awakened, he still has the utility. Uh, but I find a lot of fun using him. I have a video on my channel of him one-shotting um, Labyrinth uh, Abyss. I mean, not Labyrinth, Ant-Man. And, um, yeah, his damage is pretty good. Uh, I will say, um, I could have one shot the Abyss thing, but, like, his protection kept triggering. It was really annoying, so tragic. But, um, yeah, he's a really good damage counter. He can counter, like, magics, quirks, electros, all that fun stuff. So, yeah, I put him in the S tier. So, just like... Some of the characters that got buffed, you went from straight F to top tier, basically. Next, we got Gambit. Gambit was in the kind of useful tier from his stun lock, so it was from D to B. He might go to A tier, but, like, without the, um, without the, um, what's his name, Apocalypse Synergy, I just don't think he's, like, that crazy. I mean, I'd rather have Professor X, a Havoc, White Magneto, or Old Man Logan over this guy. So, I don't know. I mean, you guys can write in the comments what you think, um... Because I am definitely willing to change him to God tier. I just. Because I definitely don't think he's like. I think he's better than these guys, but I don't think he's better than these. So I really don't know. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, Red Goblin got a demotion from God, high God tier to just God tier. I was hyping him up a lot, but the more and more I saw gameplay of him, the more and more I realized just. Like, when he's in that damage phase, he's crazy. But. He just. Doesn't. It just takes too long to ramp him up. And I thought, like. For, account, for an account like mine, okay, that has pretty much every Beyond God tier character in the game, other than Torch, I believe. I'm pretty sure I have every other character except for Cosmic Ghost Rider. Cosmic Ghost Rider and Torch are the only two Beyond God tiers I don't have. And I'm thinking, like, on an account like mine, I just don't have a use for Red Goblin. And I just don't put him as useful as, like, the High God tiers. Because I use some of these characters, but, like, I don't think I'd ever see myself using a Red Goblin, you know? So yeah, he just goes from S to A. Gwenpool and De Black Widow Deadly Origins are basically the same thing. I put them both from S to A because the more and more I thought about it, these guys in high god tier have some kind of good utility and good damage. These guys are kind of just both damaged. They obviously both have good utility, like Gwenpool and her ability accuracy reduction. But pretty much most of the skill characters up here can do what she does and better. Same thing with Black Widow Deadly Origins. So I just put them both down a tier. Um, because I just don't look at them as high god tier anymore. They used to be, but not anymore. Electra goes from usable to decent because that ability accuracy reduction plus like the pacify mastery um, is pretty good, and the crit past twenty five percent guaranteed crit is pretty good also. So I thought I'd just give her a slight promotion because she's definitely better than like these characters. And then Winter Soldier goes from C to D. They basically traded spots because he's just without the. What is it, the Killmonger synergy? I don't know. There's a synergy that makes him like Star Lord. I think it could be Killmonger, but it definitely might not be right. I definitely am just taking a random guess. Is a synergy of someone that makes him like Star Lord? Star Lord, but like other than that, he's just really not good. Uh, so I just don't like. I just don't think he's as good as like a Taskmaster or like an Elektra or just OG Black Panther. So yeah. Now moving on to the two new characters. First we got, we got Immortal Abomination. I put them in bold so I remembered where they were and the new characters to show you. Um, he's a pretty good poison character. He has good poison damage. He's immune, uh, resistant to poison so he heals from it. 
Um, but other than that, he doesn't do anything too special. He's not gonna be like making any changes to the roster. Not gonna do anything crazy. So he's a solid. You're not solid guy. He's just a god tier. Um, maybe demi god. I don't know. He's definitely pretty good for a new account. But like an account like mine, mid tier new accounts, I think he's gonna be very nice for. But an account like mine, where once again I have pretty much all these characters and the high god tier and beyond god tier, he's not really doing too much. Uh, I think he's definitely around the same skill level as like a Luke Cage or like Red Hulk. Not definitely. I don't think he's as good as these three. So for me, he's just a god tier. Um, next we got Mortal Hulk. This dude is trash, dude. Like he he's literally okay. To put it in perspective, he's only beating out. He's only one tier ahead of characters like Yellow Jacket, Sentry, and Electro. He's in the same tier as like Modok, Mister Fantastic, and Generic Hulk. He's just not that good. I mean, his damage is really good in certain scenarios. But it's the fact that there's so many scenarios that he doesn't work in. Just makes him not good to play. I don't like how they made him lose his own health. I feel like if they took that out, he might be better. But, like, why did they have to make him take his own health? I mean, he's not, like, OP damage-wise. Like, the more I think about it, like, I mean, he can get crazy numbers. But, like, even then, other characters can do it. He does better, faster, and without losing their own health. He just has too many downsides, too many ways that, like, he can just die. Can't deal with debuffs at all. Can't deal with, like, a lot of shit. Can't deal with limb burst, stuff like that. He's just really not good. Um, so, for me, he's just in the C tier. Like, characters like Nightcrawler, Generic, Old Hulk, Mole Man, like, Yondu, <laughs> Drax, Hood. I mean, he's, like, one of these types of characters. He's just not that good. He's going to have some of his uses. I think a scenario he'll be good in, the only thing I can think of is, um, Gimme, that's the note I think it's called, where, like, they take damage when you gain health, so you could gain, like, a crazy amount of health, um, so yeah, also that notification you heard was me, not you, so don't worry about that, but, um, yeah, he's just not that good, so, he just goes in C tier for me, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the November tier list, uh, this month we didn't really get that good characters. Um, KT1 has a good video on the 2020 champions. I'd advise watching it, but he basically talks about how champions this year, and he was thinking the same thing as me. I was going to make a video on it, but I was kind of lazy. I think I made a video on it like a few months ago, but I still had faith it released better characters. But this year, they didn't really release any like game changers. They didn't really release any like crazy powerhouses. I know you might think Cosmic Ghost Rider, and yeah, he's really good, but like Cosmic Ghost Rider was the only good pretty really like beyond god tier chain game changing character they released this year and yet he still doesn't compete with like the gods of 2018 and 2019 the omega reds the archangels the Aegons, and the furies the ghost the corvus doom like he just doesn't he has crazy damage his damage i'll give him that is like beyond crazy but 2020 just i don't know the year is kind of disappointing like they, they haven't released any like broken characters uh, that's the best way to put it um, but we still have December, so hopefully they release, like, an Aegon ghost level character, because that'd be fun. I mean, it's been a while. I've been using the same characters for the last, like, three years, dude, and I'm like, I kind of just want some crazy new powerhouse that I, like, need to get, that I'm, like, desiring, like, crazy, uh, which hasn't really been the case for any 2020 characters. So, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.